for the zombie fish. Matt Shaw is an author of, in his own words, over 190 books. He was first published in 2004. He's had some pretty good numbers on Amazon, and he seems to have a penchant for the darker themes. Published in 2014, Sick Bastards is a post-apocalyptic horror tale that revolves around a quartet, all family members just known by their titles, father, mother, sister and brother. It's the brother who's the main character. And the book starts with a sex scene between the brother and the sister. Uh, he's not sure why he's attracted to her, but it's this regular incestuous activity that I think really powers the story of what is, has to be said, a pretty overdone theme. With no other apparent signs of life, the family are forced to cannibalize whatever they can get their hands on, which seems to be very difficult for everybody, pretty much apart from the father, who takes the lead around the dinner table and everyone else is really struggling to digest all this horrid, often rotting flesh. Outside of the house, there only appears to be rabid zombie-like characters, and it really is mainly a lot of the book just a power struggle, mainly between the brother and the father, of whether to venture out and go and try and find someone, or the father's belief that they will just be found in time. Either way, Shaw is very good at creating that sense of isolation. Without wanting to spoil anything, it's ultimately the brother's insistence that they should go out and do something that progresses the story after a, a lot of a similar scenes. And while he's going through and he's progressing, something big quite happens that, you know, is ultimately going to change, uh, if not in a way conclude the story. And I just thought there was a bit of a problem because uh, a pacing issue, because it seemed to just kind of come out of nowhere. And further, while the incestuous stuff was a bit edgy and engaging in a morbid kind of way, I don't think the book really merited that warning sign. It wasn't that horrible. But Shaw is a good, neat writer. He knows how to progress a story. There's very little fat on the prose. With the descriptions of eating the meat and some of the deaths, it is very good. And he once described talking about trying to be quiet, and he's described it as sipping the air like a fine wine. I thought it was a classic analogy. And the reasons and explanations for the story are pretty well thought out. It probably didn't need the little apology at the end about sorry to my readers if this is a bit too much. There very probably are much sicker books out there. But it was pretty good. I would read some more, Matt Shaw. And that's why I'd give Sick Bastards a solid three and a half goat skulls out of five.